Tonight I'll be reviewing the Gran Habano Corojo number no. 5. Hello everyone, tonight we're going to be reviewing this Gran Habano Corojo number no. 5 as I mentioned before and this is a Robusto and it, it has, we'll pull it up to the screen here, a nice, uh, I'd say medium color wrapper. The seams on this are visible but tight, uh, small veins and what looks to be a double cap. I've had this Gran Habano in my humidor for a little while now, and I haven't had a chance to try one of these yet. I have had the brand before, but not the Corojo number no. five, so I'm anxious to give this a try tonight. Um, let's give it a cut and a light and get right into it. So the, uh, the light, I get some pepper on the light, and uh, which I'm used to, it's, you, I usually get a little more of a peppery taste on, on the initial light ups. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and smoke this down the first third, and I'll let you know what I think. Don't know if you guys noticed or not on my initial light up, but I didn't, get a very good light here. And when you smoke a cigar, you wanna make sure it's lit evenly around so you get the full flavor. Uh, so this is not gonna burn well from the start. I'm gonna go ahead and crack this right off. Um, my lighter actually stopped working. It's a cheap uh, Walmart butane lighter. They have one on order from uh, Cigars Daily, shout out. Uh, ordered a new lighter and a new sampler pack that I'm excited to show. I should be getting it on Monday, which would be Four days from now so I'm um, hoping to have that review for you next week um, as I open it up do a little unboxing with my matches I like to let it burn down the match a little bit to get the sulfur smell out of the match. Sorry, my glasses keep slipping down my face. It's really frustrating. In fact, we're gonna take them off. Okay, back to the, uh, back to the review, and back to the first third. Right off the bat, I'm getting a lot of I'm getting a lot of like a hay. I don't know if that makes sense. Uh, you guys who are watching my channel know that uh, I'm not any kind of expert on this. This is just my honest opinion on what I taste. Uh, so I'm getting kind of like a hay kind of flavor, just a very little bit of pepper uh, through the retro hail, but nothing, uh, certainly nothing overpowering for sure. It's a nice uh, light pack, which is a very easy draw on this. So uh, it's it's got what I would say is, in my opinion, a perfect draw. Um, the cigar itself is lighter than what I would have expected. <laughs> That's my wife looking through the window, making fun of me.
Okay guys, I'm into the first third here and uh, the flavor is actually pretty light for what I expected on something like this. I, it's, it's really not too bold and I'm finding it very easy uh, with the cigar. I'm not having a hard time at all. I um, kind of sit real well in the medium to bold area anyway, so maybe this just doesn't hit me as much. Uh, but it's it's a good cigar so far. Uh, flavors I'm getting. I definitely get kind of a, a hay aroma. And it's kind of more in the aftertaste. Very light, woody, very light, earthy taste. Definitely some pepper in the retro hail. Uh, it's pretty well balanced. I'm really excited to see how this thing develops going into the second third. So let's keep going and I'll let you know how it goes in that second third. I'm in well into that second third. Uh, my ash just fell off uh, so for the first time. Not too bad. You can see here, I'll show you. The, uh, the burn's not perfect, but it's also not canoeing. So we're gonna just let this go. I'm not gonna touch this up at all. We're gonna see if it corrects itself. A lot of times they will correct themselves. I'm definitely getting more of a, a woody flavor with this now. Uh, some of that, those earth tones have kind of died off for me. Uh, the pepper has almost gone away completely for me at this point. So it's a nice, mellow, kind of woodsy cigar. Uh, I'm not getting any sweetness off of it. Um, definitely, like I said, the wood has kind of gone to the forefront. Maybe that little bit of uh, the hay flavor I was getting is definitely in the back and more in the, uh, the aftertaste. And it's a very short finish, so uh, w well before I'm ready for the next draw, it's gone. I'm gonna keep going with this uh, down into the last third, uh, and I'll let you guys know how it develops from there. Stay tuned. You guys hear this? One of the downsides to living on a busy road, you get to hear sirens all the time. We're not far from the fire department, so we get that a lot. Tractor trail. I apologize for the noise. I hope to have my indoor smoking lounge done soon where we can have a quieter space to do these kind of things. Hey guys, into the final third here. Uh, very happy with how this thing is developing. I'm getting now through the retro hail. I'm, I, I don't know how else to describe it, but almost as kind of a sweetness through it. Not like a sugar, like on the wrapper or something that you taste on your lips or your tongue. Just kind of that sweetness through the nose. It's, it's very interesting. Um, definitely a strong wood flavor. It's starting to ramp up a little bit on me here, which is good for me. I like it. Um, getting a little bit of heat. And when I mean big heat, you can you get a little heat on your lips. Um, and then the pepper, you're getting I'm, the pepper starting to come back on the back of my tongue a little bit, which is nice. So this thing is developing really nice. I'm enjoying it. I'm probably in, I'm probably drawing on it a little too much just because I'm enjoying it so much. But that's what it's all about, right? Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. If you like what you saw, hit that thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment below. Thank you guys and we'll see you on the next video.